Hey. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Stefanos, right? Yeah, Stefanos. I, Stefanos. Yeah. Am I, am I saying that right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I uh, pronounced your name wrong ever. All right, so... Uh, no, it's, so it's whatever. Can you see my screen? Give me a sec. Um, uh, here we go. Yes, I can. All right. Cool. Um, let us just begin. Uh, anything okay. you want me to focus on, or do you have any questions beforehand? Uh, I can answer. Well, basically, I have potato hands, pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they hurt a lot uh, later in the game, and I feel like I feel like my laning is quite okay. But when it gets to like mid game and uh, uh, and late game, I have absolutely no idea what to do. Like. You're probably gonna see that. That's like all right, all right. Disgusting. <laughs> Wait, what rank is this? Diamond five, or platinum mm, one? This this is platinum two EU. Uh, no, wait, which account is this? Yes, this is platinum one EU and E. Okay, okay. But I think it has diamond four MMR. <laughs> seems good. Seems good. That was a good queue with uh, Ezreal. So far, so good. Oh wow, it's a free hook. Good follow-ups, dude. So far, almost perfect. This is like pretty much perfect so far. So, it is good. I think you are correct in your assessment and laning. Uh, looks like you definitely know what you're doing. All right, let's keep fast forwarding. Do do do. And this lane is pretty much uh, Blitzcrank, dependent on Blitzcrank hooks, right? So. Yeah, at some point I think he hooked. Uh, yeah, he, he, maybe before this he hooked uh, Lucian instead of Sona, but I felt like uh, hooking. Uh, is that now or is that before? Uh, at some point, I think he, yeah, here, here. I think he walks forward and he uh, hooks uh, Lucian. I think if he hooked Sona, that is the better choice, but I'm not sure. Yeah, here, right? Uh, okay, this because is what I'm going to say about this. Let's go back. Okay, so yeah. when you... Uh, so for the concept of like uh, value, right? So what? how how valuable is your, is your arcane shift, right? Um, so you want to use it in three specific cases, 99 times yeah. out of 100. Um, these, it, should, it should work in these three cases. When you're shifting in to kill someone, when you're shifting to dodge an ability like a Cocoon or a Sona ult um, or an Ezreal uh, or a Lucian Q, right? Anything like that. Or yeah. uh, the third case is to escape death or something like that, right? Yeah. So uh, when I see this, when I see you shift forward, um, the reason why you guys don't win this, I, I, I'm like 100% sure you don't win this, is because it didn't meet any of those three criteria, right? Um, it, like, it didn't do any damage, you didn't dodge anything, you didn't kill anyone. Um, it's a good idea that you, it's good to recognize that you do want to fight because he's, this Blitzcrank is trying to do something, but because you use it like this, um, I already I know you can't win. Cool I already, yeah, I already yeah. know you can't win. Um, yeah. No matter what you do. Uh, so, if you go back here, I think the correct response is to find, is to like walk over here and just spam Q. And then if the opportunity arises, you can jump in and finish him off or get a summer spell, right? But um, it's like, yeah. it's like it doesn't matter who he hooks. It's uh, you, you hit whoever he hooks and I think you win. Um, okay. okay. See, if you had E'd here instead of using it up here, you can chase this guy. There's no way he wins because he's exhausted, right? Um, yeah, 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 I see. Yeah. It's, not, it's about, it's, it's, it's it's not just you like everyone does this. I do this too. It's just like playing Ezreal is just super hard um, sometimes. But uh, it didn't matter who you hooked, as long as you landed your cues. Is as long as you land your cues, it doesn't matter who he hooks, right? And you have good value on your on your arcane shift. So I think okay. there it's may maybe maybe when you play Ezreal, think about like um, you want very specific cases where you arcane shift. Okay. And my recommendation is unless you're like master or challenger or above. Don't use your E for damage. Don't use it to trade. That will just get you killed more times than not. Just use it when you want to dodge this specific ability, when you want to uh, run away and escape with your life, or use it when you're gonna kill someone. I want you to, okay. if you if you're okay. like focusing on Ezreal for like this replay, I want you to like, um, that's what let I really me, want you to focus on. Um, let me write that on notepads. Uh, okay, okay. Use, use E. For damage slash escape, not reposition repositioning. No, 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 no. Hold okay. on, hold on, hold on. Back it up. Um, you don't want to use it for damage, is what I'm saying. You want to use. Oh, it, you don't want. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You always want to use it for repositioning, right? 
Okay. You, you or escape repositioning. Yeah, yeah, never use it to trade. Like that, that that's the same thing I teach with Lucian. Never use your E to go for damage. Even if it's a good trade, um more often than not it will it will not be worth in the end, right? For for Ezreal, more often than not, um using your E for damage is uh not going to is is like okay. bad. It's like not a good value. Okay. Good good value okay. is um like jumping over ledges in order to catch up to someone or escape from someone, right? That's very good value. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Right. So you always kill someone, escape, or dodge something. Those three criteria okay. it has, must meet one of those three criteria. Kill okay. something, kill someone, dodge something, escape with your life, right? So um, that's, okay. that's 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 what I want to see if you uh, come back with yeah. another Ezreal replay. Okay, let's should 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 I use W to harass? Like not at this point, of course, because I don't have mana, but in general. Yes. Um, if you have a tier, using a W in auto attack will I'll trade a regular auto attack, right? So, okay. um, and you can also go through waves. So you can hit both of them. Sometimes using W is great, but um, honestly, it doesn't really matter too much for Ezreal. Uh, okay. Like the base, like don't worry about that. You don't. Okay. You're just. Uh, there are bigger things to worry. Yeah, they're bigger. There are a lot bigger <laughs> things to worry about, right? Okay, so for in this example, enough. um, if you had Arcane shifted that Lucian Q. Uh, that would be good value, quote like quote unquote. Um, using okay. it to get away from him is already good enough, though. Uh, hopefully, okay. right? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't have the reflexes. Uh, that's I fine, don't that's have really good reflexes too. To it's that. more about um, you should know if you can dodge it. Yeah, it's hard, but if you know he's gonna Q, like pretend you're Lucian, and you're playing Lucian, you're gonna dash forward, auto auto Q, auto auto. So yeah. you uh, you are can shift. You should know when to can shift. It's it's more about okay. like knowing it's coming than reaction time. But this okay. this is good. This is a very good E, right? Um, I don't know whatever whatever happens here it doesn't matter. Um, use your E to get away. Fits one of the three okay. criteria. Good value. Okay. Yes, that's okay. really good. So. Okay. So now I recall, of course. Yep. Oh, uh, I do have issues with buying the 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 uh, mana crystal, right? Uh, because, uh. It doesn't give you any combat stats, so to speak. Um, yeah, but my plan for for the mana, my my reasoning at least is that uh, like if I have tier and he he just got a kill, so he had, we have thirty five CS, so he gets BF sword, right? Um, most probably. I mean, unless he goes for the other thing, but still, he's he's going to outtrade me, whatever. So I thought the whole point for me now is to spam every spell I have. Um, and stack tier as quick as possible and never get out of mana. So I thought, well, like Boots is, is safer, but Sapphire Christmas gives me like another 15 to 20 spells. I see where you're coming from, but uh, I still don't agree. Um, it's like, how do I put it this way? You Every time you back, you want like combat stats. And the only reason why you buy tier is for the mana mute, right? Um, otherwise... You would never want to buy this tier. Um, it's like yeah, of course. Like and the sapphire for for Sheen. It does it like uh, this two fifty mana is not gonna do anything for you. Uh, I, yeah. In all honesty, like you can spam all the abilities you want, but having flat two fifty mana is a lot worse than having the move speed to catch up or run away or the damage, the ten damage on a long sword, right? Um, okay. So in, in this like, case, you would go longsword, uh, two pots. Yes, I, guess. I would have gone longsword in pots, or I would have gotten boots in pots, but I probably would have gotten the longsword in one pot for sure. Um, but I mean, they have Sona, right? So you want to get the the extra damage because she's quite squishy. So you that that ten extra damage is like the ten extra damage is for everything. Yeah. It's like for last hitting, for Q poke. Yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. mean, in in this specific case, the reason to go for the longsword instead of the boots is that since they have the squishy champion, ten extra damage is far more valuable than. Even if they had a Tarek or an Alistar, they would have gotten the longsword. Like the, the reasoning isn't because Sona is squishy. The reasoning is because um, it's just combat stats. Like straight up, it's just combat okay. stats are better than non-combat stats. Um, and if they have um something like Janna Soraka Nami. Same thing, same thing, right? Same um, thing, okay. Still same thing. Um, that reasoning does not change, uh, no matter what okay. the matchup is. So. Okay. Let's fast forward. So this guy is getting hit for free. Oh, That's good. Wait, also, also against the Blitz? Against the Blitz or a Thresh? What about? I guess I guess then the movement speed is more... Right, yeah, then, yeah, right? yeah. Movement speed yeah, would be okay. even more valuable, like, for example, yeah. Okay. Um, though, in that case, uh, those, those, like... Uh, moving speed is, is somewhat considered to be combat stats because um, you use it to fight and like kite in and stuff, right? So, um, okay. Yeah, moving okay. speed is much better against like things with skill shots, right? Um, yeah. 
So here, yeah. uh, and I guess it would have given me an extra pot, which is quite handy in a Sona lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this lane now you just wait for hooks. There's nothing. There's nothing. You literally can't do anything unless you wait for a hook. So this is okay. fine. Um, so this is good here. Oh. Uh, yeah, that Q was shit, you, but whatever. Yeah, you would have. You you should have been punished there, but uh, I think it ended up being okay. Um, seems good. Yeah. Did you, were you watching early? I'm, I assume you were watching the stream earlier. No, I went to the doctor, so I, I couldn't. Oh, did you just get back? Yeah, I just got back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so what I was explaining earlier, uh, you might want to go back you, and. You mean the the old the old spam Q thing? Um, the whole like don't spam Q thing. I mean spam Q after you ult. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's, yeah. that's like yeah. to a lesser extent. But um, okay. when I was talking, when I was watching Bang's uh, replays, and I was explaining how in lane you never want to use Q unless you have very specific reason to. Um, Okay. It's very Ezra specific, but uh, you might want to go back and watch that. But this, that's essentially what I was saying was um, in lane, uh, before you have mana immune, you only want to use auto attacks. Unless you can hit them or uh, go for like a free shot, like they have no, re they have, like, no response, or you can, um, you can miss them and still hit a minion because that's still good value because you're still pushing. Uh, I think Cole okay. here is fine. That's fine. Sheen is good. Uh, you, you said you should until you have man immune. Uh, the way I build Ezreal is like you see, I spam, I spam a lot of my spells, and I go man immune after um, a Triforce. But from what I understand, from what you say, you go man immune first. I uh, yeah, but even if I didn't go man immune first, it's still the same. It's still the same concept. Uh, okay. You still want to always, you always want to get as many auto attacks in as 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 humanly possible, and you only okay. use Q when you can hit them for free. Pretty much. Um, yeah. You only use yeah. it to push if you're getting out pushed, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like it's Ezreal's like very intricate. It's like super. He's like super hard to play, which is why um, everyone always says Ezreal's like impossible to play. So. Yeah, I've I've been seeing uh, good Ezreal's play, and it's like I I don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. So. yeah. Compared to like Ash or something, it's like clear that oh wow land arrow, um, and it, yeah. it makes sense. But Ezreal is like a lot more uh, yeah. fine, fine touchy or whatever. Yeah. So here, this is fine. You're scaling. It doesn't matter that you're being pushed in. You're just trying to get as much CS as you can. That was a good hit. Um, wait, yeah, I've been hitting Sona a lot this lane. User all here somewhere. I want to see this. Okay, so uh, I know what you're trying to do. I think you're trying to hit them and like. Prevent prevent them from pushing in, right? No, I'm I'm trying to to basically just um, set the backline so that I can queue it easily and like get. Um, like I don't want them to crash a whole wave into my tower and then I I have to waste like twenty twenty to thirty seconds where they go dragon, right? Um, so that's my logic. All right. So what I think for uh, Ezreal ult is that uh, it's good that you had a specific purpose in mind. But try and keep in mind like what it's worth, uh, and I know I like I know what you're saying, right? You want to use it to make sure that uh, they can't just go to dragon for free. But I think that um, if you if I look at the map, they're not going dragon. No, 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 no. Even okay, they're... like let's, let's say they go to dragon, right? And you yeah. didn't use your ult to clear this or like push this. Yeah. Um, if you still have your ult and they're doing dragon, your ult can like bring them all down to like low health, right? So the value of your ult there would be like, like the potential of your ult there would be like a lot higher than using okay. your ult on minions, if that makes any sense. Um, so like you always wanna, you always wanna like, in solo queue, you always wanna get like this, that could be a reasonable um, ult in like competitive play, if you know they're trying to dive or like do dragon or something. But I think in solo queue, you really wanna like, go for maximum possible value on every single ability. Um, okay. Like in competitive, I, like if you watch competitive and you see people, I do use, a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you if you watch people play as zero, they'll like use their E for damage or something like that. You can't copy them because in solo queue, it's like it's like different. Um, okay. And same with their alts. Like sometimes they use their alt to gain a six CS advantage. That's only because they're they they won't be using it for like the next five minutes or whatever. Um, you okay. will always find a chance to use it, right? So I think you should try and save alt as much as possible because. I know, I know. Like you were saying, how you wanted to make sure that um, you want to clear these minions quick. But th let's say you didn't ult that wave. I, I still, I still think you could have cleared this fine and still have your ult, right? Um, I think your ult is more valuable than that. Okay, this is that was, this is good. That was a good E. 
Uh, that was a good cue. I mean, the E there uh, is the same, the same thing. Yeah, the same idea. Before. Yeah, same idea, same idea. So, uh, we already talked about it, so no, no need to worry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's actually yeah, why you. Hard. That's actually why you die here. You should. You should die here. Um, okay, let's back yeah. up. So. Uh, I missed two cues, right? So, I should die a hundred percent of the time. Yeah. Not not only that. Um, but and I didn't it was the E. Cue. It was honestly the E, yeah. right? Um, so yeah. I think you already know that, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we need to review that. Also, uh, one thing that you can do on Ezreal is um, you can combine your Q and Flash, right? Do you know that? Yeah, I, I saw the practice tool video that you made, but uh, as I said, my hands are not like that good. Okay. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Although if I if I hit the Q there, right when he is. It's not. If it's I not. Hit... It's not this one. It's that. No, um... no, this one. The following one. The following one. I miss another Q after this. Uh, this one. It's because yeah. yeah, it's because he flashed it, right? Okay, so yeah. the the way you prevent stuff like that is if you flash into their face and Q, right? Like Q okay. flash in their face. It's like insanely hard for them to dodge. Maybe like yeah. I, let me see if I can find something real quick. Um, do I have this here? No, I don't really have it here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, but, well, I can see the practice tool video and that's yeah, fine. yeah, like Q flash, and it'll be super hard for them to flash it. That's uh, I think if you if you want to guarantee quote unquote guarantee one of your Qs and he still has flash up, you should go for a Q flash or flash Q. But if you can't, if you like can't do that uh, because of your hands or lag or whatever, then you should yeah. uh, like no, it's twenty ms. I don't have lag. Huh? Yeah, I, it's twenty ms. I don't have lag. It's uh, it's purely my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. Don't miss. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Um, don't don't miss. Yeah. And and uh, high value on your E. High value on your yeah. E and your flash. That's that's what I that's oh, what that's, I want you to I, ne I never thought about it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And now it kind of starts uh, getting shitty, like my play, as you'll see in a bit. I think. Like that's why I chose this game to send because like I felt. Sending a game that I go 10 and 0 has very little value, right? Sometimes it has, uh, it can have good value. Honestly, I think the best replays are the ones where you play like average, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I felt this uh, a really average game for me in the sense that I, my lane was okay, but then it, I reach the late game and you'll see I do some things that are extremely stupid. Okay, okay. Like a, a tower dive on Malphite late. Which tilted me. If we want to um, talk about value is this, here, is, is this old good? Uh, I would say no, unless you're getting dove, because um, right, like always, always consider the the pros and cons. You can always like answer the question yourself if you um, like think about the pros and cons. So the cons are you have you don't have your ultimate for however long, right? And that's that's the only con. And the pros are you clear this wave almost instantaneously. Um, so it's like. It's like the value of this ult is a fast six six minions. So if you choose the back here, then you know maybe you can say yeah, you can back, justify this, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you can justify it, then uh, that's good. But if you can't justify it, then it's not good, right? Okay. Um, so like, say for example, uh, you were ulting that wave and then you stay, and then it's no, like, no, no, that's that's stupid, right? It that's, doesn't make any uh, sense, yeah. right? So yeah, exactly. I have no idea what's going on mid. That's not your fault. You stay bot. That's fine. Farming. Um, I think ulting here is also fine because you can push his tower super fast. This is acceptable. Yeah, I want right? the minions to do as much damage to tower. Yep. This is this is this. I would do this as well. So it's good good value. I would say good enough value for worth your ult because you can just spam Q to get your ult back, right? So um, getting damage yeah. on the tower. Almost got it. Not quite. But that's fine as well. Yeah. Yeah, but sin is coming, so that that was the idea. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, push this in. Um, there's nothing he can do without mana. This gank is not gonna work. You just wanna get the tower here. No, but it's not. A, it's, it's a tower. It's yeah, a tower. yeah, yeah. You just you just want the tower here. Um, that's the danger. That's the danger of using your E for damage, right? Um, if that Sona had immediately ulted and then they like flash over the wall or something. Yeah, but know. there was a fight, right? I assumed Sona does not have. Uh, you can't assume. Okay. You can't assume unless your team says it in the chat, or okay. you see it used yourself, right? You can't be like, okay. 
You, it's like you see this all the time in solo queue. Your mid laner comes to bot after like a fight has happened, and he says he dies because someone flashes. He's like, "Lol, they still had flash and heal. You guys suck, right?" That's yeah. not. That's not. That's his fault. Um, yeah. If he says yeah. that every game, he's just not going to improve. And yeah, yeah um, of course. You have to always assume the worst in 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 every situation. Like if you don't see them use flash and you don't have the timer in chat. And you don't know if they have flash or not. You have to play like they have flash because if you play like they don't have flash and then they flash and you guys lose a fight, then it's just like, um, you know, you just lose, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah. Always assume worst case scenario, right? So when I saw you, Ian, I assumed that Sona had ult. Um, okay, that was a nice hook, but uh, I'm not I sure flash. about chasing this. Actually, the Sona's DC. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty then. Uh, Seems good. So you can just push bot all the way uh, and take the tower probably since a bunch of people died. Another yep. guy's gonna die. Oh god. Okay. But yeah. I had either, which is like disgusting that I flashed, but okay. <laughs> no, that, I think that's acceptable, right? Because the E, your Ezra's E cast time like, is like a little bit delayed, right? So it takes a while to get away from this guy. So I think flashing is, is acceptable, right? Um, okay. Right. Sometimes, 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 sometimes you need a flash instead of user E. It's just you always have to be able to reason it out. Is the is the real thing I'm trying to get at? Um, okay. Uh, another question. Uh, right now, mm -hmm. um, the like the jungler goes uh, dragon with yep. Oriana, and uh, uh, I I spam ping the tower because I feel like this tower is more worth than the dragon. But do, do you, you think do you think to improve it's better to follow sin? instead of trying to do this because i'm not 100 percent sure i can take this tower. right if blitz didn't come if blitz followed sin uh then uh it's a wrong decision by me so do you think it's more worth to actually follow sins out even though i think his his decision is wrong or uh should i just do what i think is correct what i think and you should do is do what is the safe option right so okay. um if you didn't know you could take the tower and not die for it um, I, knew, I knew I could not die, but then that's fine. I would, didn't like, know if I, I, I take it. The, yeah. the biggest thing in uh, the game is not dying, no matter what decision you choose. If you choose to follow him and it goes south, you should not die. Uh, if you choose to not follow him, you should also not die, right? So no matter what you do, uh, it should be like you shouldn't blindly follow your teammates. Is what I'm trying okay. to get out. You should no matter what happens, don't die, right? No matter what happens, don't die. Oh, um, this is awkward. But I think this is like uh, you're. I think you're assuming there's like no word in here, so yeah. Uh, pretty much like back, back, like you uh, back in our safer spot, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I could literally just e over the wall, so it's it's so stupid that I stay there. I literally just wrote in the chat that I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that, ha that happens to the best of us. So I think yeah. uh, I don't really need to say anything there, though. Um, I think ulting this though. I don't think you need to ult this because. If you push this wave into the tower, nothing happens. What do well, what do I gain exactly? Right, like what do you get like yeah, what do you you could you could have easily gotten these minions by auto attacking and, and pressing Q. Um so yeah. I think your all could have been uh better used elsewhere. Um Yeah. Always try and think about like the best value ability the best value you can get. Like especially in the lower ranks you can get even higher even higher value um on everything. So Yeah. So go top for the tower. This is this is good. I like this. Just be careful. No, you're, you're not you're not gonna like this. What yeah, you're gonna Mal see in a bit. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just be careful that Malphite is just gonna ult you if you uh, take aggro or he has a jungle com. Uh, there's no way this blitz is gonna kill this guy. You just want to push a tower and make him make him mad, pretty much. Uh, so far, so good. You just want to hit this tower, right? Um, yeah, that W was a bit annoying, but whatever. Yeah, that was a good E. So far, so good. Okay, you stop chasing this right now. Or you should. I think it's still fine. You just kill this guy and you, you win. Uh, It's still not bad. It's still not bad. Okay, yeah. Don't yeah, chase but this. then this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, okay. So all this all this is good. Um, and, and then also look at the chat. Ye coming top, right? Yeah, okay. So the thing here, you have to, like, um, when you're sieging a tower... It's like, okay, when you do anything, you should ask yourself, what do we want from this, right? We want the tower. How are we going to do it? We're going to hit this. We're going to push the wave in and hit this tower and, until this Malphite, like, um, 
reacts, right? So what do yeah. we want? How are we going to do it? So yeah. killing Malfi is not what you want, right? That's not the goal here. Um, yeah, the so goal is the tower. Try, try and think about it that way. That will, that will help prevent you from doing. Um, yeah, I know, but it's, it's, I, I felt so tilted from that. I yeah. felt like, ah, in the moment, fuck, you're he, like, dude, you literally yeah, have like he has, health. he has to die at this point, right? Yeah, he must then, die. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. But like, I don't think you guys can get the tower anymore, right? So yeah. always try and uh, keep in mind the uh, the goal, I guess, to prevent stuff like that from happening. Um, I think in the end, it's still a positive outcome, um, but. By Maybe the way, something something, from. So, something that surprised me is um, that you said yeah, I should go uh, mana immune first, and I see the chat mentioning it now. That should go pickaxe instead of uh, triforce. Um, but the way it is right now, I think I hover over my mana immune right now, is because of the spamming, etc. Uh, right now, I go back and in like uh, three spells, I have mana immune, and I think uh, triforce is stronger than mana immune, right, by itself. If if mana immune is not stacked. I mean, Triforce is also like two thousand gold more than Man Immune, though. Yeah, you also have okay. to consider the like how much how much everything costs as well. Um, yeah. The way the way I do it is I pretty much just copy Bang because he's like the best Ezreal player. Oh yeah, by far. Yeah. Um. So, I'm just like I'm just trying to figure out why does Bang every single game get Man Immune? So I try it myself, and then if you I mean if you think that your playstyle fits building Trinity first over Man Immune. I would say go for it. Um, who am I? Who am I to? Who am I to judge, right? If you can reason it out, that's fine, because um, you can say like you know, Trinity components are very good in lane, so that's good justification. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, if you can't justify it, then you should try and figure out like why? Why am I building what I'm doing? I wouldn't. I wouldn't fault you for building Trinity first. Um, it's just that uh, do you do you have a reason why you built it first over over many me, right? Um, well, my reasoning in general for not getting Mana Immune first is that, um, I mean, Sheen is extremely strong, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for Ezreal. Like, you want to go Sheen, so you already have one component. Yes. Um, and uh, Phage is also extremely strong in lane because it gives you movement speed, it gives you health, it gives you, like, exactly what you need in lane. Um, so... I guess Stinger is a bit less, but still, attack speed is also quite worth because otherwise you attack as almost as quick as like, I don't know. That's uh, good. That's yeah. yeah. See, like if you can that, reason it that, out, that, then that's that, that's, that's, my, that's my reasoning. But there must be a reason people get like the the reason I think Bang can can go Man Immune first is because he's going to hit every single skill shot, and he's going to keep his his passive stacks. So he has the attack speed, right? But I don't. No, 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 no. no. That is, that's yeah. not the reason. That's not the reason. It's because. Um, okay. Man immune will stack without um without wasting mana. Auto, without wasting mana, right? Uh, yeah. there are actually several reasons. Okay, so one, you have more AD, so your auto attacks are worth more. So when I was saying stuff about like only auto attack, only auto attack, don't queue, don't queue. You you only, you only queue with very good reason. That's like if you have a pickaxe, all your auto attacks are like much better versus like a sheen, right? Uh, okay. and then the second part is once you finish the man immune you can easily transition into your boots next. But if you're building a Trinity, that's like a ton of money you're pouring into the Trinity. So when do you buy boots? It's kind of ambiguous, right? Um, you, in, like in, this in this game, build related, do you, like, would you go uh, tier Man Immune or tier Sheen Man Immune? I would go tier Man I always go tier Man Immune nowadays. Okay, so every not Sheen game. first. Every single okay. game, yeah, every single game. The, but that's just my personal preference. Like, you'll and, see and other, other players say otherwise. Um, and Lucidity Boots or uh, Ninja Tabbies versus Yi in this case? It depends on the other team, but in this case, yeah. Yi and Lucian uh, warrants a Ninja Tabbies, right? Uh, in okay. my opinion. Um, especially if they have a third a third person who does physical damage, which they don't. But um, yeah. I would say Lucidity Boots is honestly um, the last thing you consider. Uh, first, you consider Ninja Tabbies, then you consider Merc Treads, and then you consider uh, Luc the Lucidity Boots. In my opinion. Really? Yep. Merc threads before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in, nowadays, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played Ezreal in like a few weeks. I guess maybe a month. It's not, uh, not really a thing other people are doing right now except for the higher ranked people. But um, it'll prevent stuff like Katarina from like one-shotting you or whatever. Okay, let's watch this. Okay, what's yeah. going on here? So uh, this is just, this is, honestly just goes back to the Ezreal E thing, right? Um, yeah. I don't think I need to explain. This combined with chasing. When you chase, you need to have like uh, a clear goal in mind at the end of the chase. If he yeah. if he right clicks to his tower, if he right clicks to his fountain, 
the best you're gonna get out of this is damage and that's not bad that's like it's good but um can you justify it like what's the pros and cons the pros is you get damage off on him best case scenario but the cons are that you've chased far I mean, enough. Yeah, best, best case scenario is like they, they recall and we get dragon, right? At this point. Uh, like Worst case is like I getting die. Enough and damage they... on this side that you guys can do dragon. Yeah. That's so true. That okay. Recall. Now, the flip yeah. side, the worst case scenario is that they turn on you when you have no escape and then they get barren, right? So yeah, yeah. You, you always so... have to, like, play when, in, in, especially in solo queue, you should play to the safest option, if that makes sense. Um, consider all your options, right? You pick the safest yep. one, the one or the one that is impossible to lose, right? Yeah. Um, so in this case, the the one that's impossible to lose is just do not use your E, but you chase. Chasing yeah. without using your E is fine, because then once this guy pops out, you just you just run away, um, with your E. But um, because you use your E, you just there's no way you get away, right? It's just impossible. Um. It's like a combination of uh, chasing and and uh, using your like dash ability. Uh, maybe maybe it wasn't the greatest value you could have gotten, right? This I don't know what's going on here, but there's you have no impact on what happens in the fight afterwards, right? Yeah. So that's why that's why it's so important to like never die. I know I sound like um, like super strict, like you literally cannot die, but in order to no win, no I I understand it, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I I used to raid in WoW. Dying is literally the worst thing that you can do there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, there's so no yeah. DPS if you're dead, right? Yeah, exactly. You got, so, you get what yeah. I mean, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Did, did you ever play like Warcraft or like Starcraft? No, no, no. I literally just, just I, I was okay. in the top 20 guild That's, in WoW. Damn, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You, 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 still, you still understand. Yeah, people in yeah. Starcraft and Warcraft would always teach that too. Like, oh, use all your, use all your minions to focus down like this one guy because... <laughs> Wounded people can still fight, whatever. Yeah, um, so yeah, exactly. This is another case of um, chasing. Like, what's the end goal? What is the end goal here? Um, yeah. If you're just going for damage, you should not do that. Um, you need to play. To I have no vision. Option. I have nothing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. What am I doing there? Like, it's, uh, it's very obvious after the game, right? You watch this, you're like, oh, I shouldn't have chased. Um, one thing I do to help me keep track of where I'm going wrong is my sticky notes, right? I'll write down. I'll go back, watch the replay, write down the reasons why I die. So a lot of times I'll die to chasing, right? So, um, uh, for example, if I have these sticky notes, right? And it's like, uh, if I have like chasing, I've died five. This is like in the past 10 games or whatever, whatever, whatever yeah. amount of games I'm looking at. And then I'm like, uh, not using abilities correctly. I say that's like three and then, uh, gangs are like four. So then when I, after this, after I like go through my plays TV and looks at look at what I die, I reorder to what is like worst and best, right? Yeah. So to me, I would say instantly, all right, this is not a problem. This happened like once in five games, but this is a problem because it's happening every game. So in my next game, I would say, all right, this game, I'm not gonna chase at all. Not gonna chase zero chasing. I'm never gonna die to chase. So okay. um, I'll work on that for like five games in a row. If I'm if the focus is not dying, I'm gonna work on this five games in a row. Then once this goes to like once this goes to zero, ganks come up next, right? So I've get died to ganks like eleven times. This is still five. All of a sudden, I'm like, all right, my chasing is fine. I'm gonna start working on not dying to a gank. Next five games, never die to a gank, never die to a chase, right? So yeah. uh, if you have issues with um, stuff like that, that's what I would recommend um, okay. for improving improving. Uh, uh, not dying to stuff, right? Because this is just pure chase, right? So if I were you, uh, I would write that down after the game, just like tally it up. Um, yeah. Because that's honestly that's the only that's the only two deaths in the mid game so far, right? Um, the two chases. Yeah, but I end like six, seven, and nine or something. So yeah, it, it gets bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, did you buy? Did you finish an item here? Oh, okay, Lord Dams. Uh, not Lord. Yeah, I went there, which is extremely stupid, by the way, because Baron's up. But yeah. Let me see. Uh, let me see this real quick. Right, let's back it up. Let's back it up. Okay, spawn on spawn. Yeah, I would say maybe send Camille there. Honestly, I don't know. I think it's okay. It's not. It's not that bad. Um, you really want this farm? I think it's okay. Um, as long as you link up with your team right now, you shouldn't go for the Krugs. I don't think. But um, I think it's it's yeah, still fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also think you. If your team is doing something like this, you just run to help them right now, I think. Um, yeah. But uh, come to the lane. You all 
trying to help them. I think the ult is fine. I mean, you, you could have helped with the Yi. I think you could justify this. Um, I'm not really good at hitting ults. Uh, that's in general from my, from long range. Okay, okay. My um my recommendation for that is hold on to your Ezreal ult as long as possible until okay. you can guarantee a hit onto their back line, or you can okay. kill someone. Oh, that's what I would recommend. If you're just struggling, like every Ezreal, like every Ezreal in everywhere has no idea how to use their ultimate. Um, yeah. So what I would suggest is going for the maximum possible value you can think of, which is like hitting three people in the back line. Just do that every game. Just only use their ultimate for that. And once you can do that every game, you can start like figuring out, okay, using ultimate, maybe clear waves uh, could be good now, or using it on like one guy in the back line is still good value. But you need to train yourself to get good value in the first place. Um, okay. So that's if you're like having issues with uh, using ultimate, um, especially like at long range, I would practice holding onto it as long as possible until you can like guarantee hits. Okay. Um, do you so think you can... Lord Domes was a good item choice in this case? I think it is acceptable considering they have a malphite, but I personally probably would have gone for something else. Um, for blades. Uh, you could get a blade. That's also another choice. What do they have? A Sona Lucian, Katarina, Yi, Malphite. So what's gonna kill you? Um, Malphite all is going to kill you, Katarina is going to jump on you, and Yi damage, right? So when I take a look at that, I'm saying, all right, I need a Last Whisper for the Malphite. That's the bare minimum, right? Yeah. Um, after that, you can consider QSS for Sona. I'm not going to consider that because she's not a problem. Um, the, yeah. more, the bigger problem is the Yi and Katarina. So what helps you survive against that? Um, well, beyond building a Guardian Angel, if your team has enough damage and you're like the weak link, building a Guardian Angel is fine. Um, otherwise, yeah. maybe Death Stance to help prevent them from one-shotting you into a Phantom Dancer. Um, Blade of the Rune King, I would say no because you need defensive more than offensive because they're, Yi and Katarina are just going to dive you or reset. So uh, I probably wouldn't go Maul? here. Uh, like, Maul, like the thing with Maul is that it doesn't stop the Yi. So I'm looking for an option that solves all my I mean, problems nothing stop, no, nothing stops the Yi, right? Well, Death like, Stance, ex Death Stance ex ex helps against both. Um, and Guardian okay. Angel helps against both. So for me, I'd be looking at options that helps against both, right? Um, okay. So if yeah, and if I have Ninja Tabby, I lose the CDR, but I gain from from Death Stance, I guess. The CDR doesn't CDR. matter. Let's be like Bang ends Bang, Bang ends the game with twenty percent twenty percent CDR. So CDR okay. doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Okay. Um, what matters is uh like uh, uh ha like building so that you have um options, right? So if you build like a Ninja Tabbies against five ADs. Um, you have options because they all of a sudden they can't just like one shot you, right? Um, whereas if you had built a lucidity, losing that 30 armor might have made it so that you couldn't stand in this spot where they can one shot you, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. You're trying to you're trying to make it easier for yourself to win the game, pretty much. Every every time you build an item, you're trying to make it easier for yourself to win the game. So um, in this case, I would say like they have two super high damage threats. I'm building at least somewhat defensive. Once I build that last whisper, I'm gonna build at least somewhat defensive. So I'm thinking a death stance, a guardian's angel, a sterex gauge. Any because you need a you need a like you don't want one item for Katarina and then one item for Yi. That takes too long. You want one item for both, really. Okay. Um, that's what I'm thinking right now. But I think Lord Dom's is is like okay. It's just it'll help you kill Malphite faster. But um, I probably would have just yeah. sit on the last whisper to be honest. Okay. Thing here is fine. It'll just the whole point uh, of you now is just uh, all you have to do is just not die and wait for Blitz to hook someone or wait for a team fight to happen. It's just the way AD carry works nowadays is that unless you're playing Twitch, you just sit back and uh, wait for something to happen and then you fight and win the team fight. I think I have a, a bit, bit too aggressive. Uh, yeah, like what I'm playing. seeing here is just it's like too far out. Um, where yeah, they can. I, I'm alone for no reason. Yeah. Always want to play with the safe option, but it looks like uh, yeah. it's okay. The instant you see something like this happen, you just run to your team, right? Um, looks like they kill him without you. That's fine. You just wait for your team, and then you'll be good. Uh, this guy's just going to kill you if you're not careful because um, Katarina is stupid. Okay, you go for the ult. That's, nice That's a nice try. Um, yeah, that was a shitty ult. It was, no, it was an, I think it was a nice. It was like low enough to say, you know, maybe you can go for the snipe. No, right? no, but I mean, but I mean the, the direction from it, for it. It was like it, it went through the wall, right? It was just no not gonna. Walking through. It's just never gonna land because he can jump yeah. to someone else. Yeah. So okay, uh, what I would have done is I would have sat over in these corners and ulted when he's running to his base when he okay. doesn't expect it. If you wanted to go for the snipe, otherwise I'd hold on to it. Um, oh. 
until later. Yeah. So this is yeah, what I'm talking. This, this, is, this is what I'm yeah. talking about. Um, you need, I'm never dueling a U, right? <laughs> right. So you want to build items to uh, prevent stuff like this, pre- pre- prevent this option from happening, so that he does not even have this option, right? Ninja Tybees would have saved you long enough, or uh, thirteen hundred gold and and something else maybe. But this is I don't, I don't know. This is he's just pretty dumb too. Um, yeah. Here, you always want to play it to the safe. Op- like, what's the goal here? Um, when you're when you're when you're going for the CE, right? You always want to like. How do you win this? It's like impossible. You need you depend on Camille to stun. That's like you never want to depend on your teammates to be honest. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy to go for that stun like he missed. So um, yeah, always play safe. Always play, always play to the safest option. Always assume worst case scenario, right? Worst case scenario, yeah. your Camille misses and then you both die. So um, play in such a way that that Yi can't even like press Q on you. Yeah, I I see. It's like, it, it feels like you should always have, like, competent teammates. Like, you know, this Camille should always hit that stun, right? But in solo queue, um, the reality yeah, is... Yeah, you, you, can, you can play around that. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, the reality is, you have, you, like, your team is boosted. Like, let's be honest. Like, no. the reality is, you are, you are the only guy on your team that you can depend on. So, um, you should play, yeah. you should play like that. It's like, it's like a hard, it's like something very hard to wrap, wrap people's head around. Like, including myself. It's just like, you know, you, you expect your team to be not stupid right um yeah but which is extreme which is extremely infuriating when people on reddit say no ad carries are not problematic because you can depend on your team yeah right? yeah that's it's, it's, yeah. It's not, okay that was a good all so, you yeah. see what happened there yeah but then this the, how what what do i do here like do i stand even more back because katarina can maybe one shot yes me? you stand so far back that she waits she does it on someone else and then you kill her Right here, okay. this is a bad spot because they're both gonna ult you, and then you're gonna die to Katarina. So I like that you yeah. e away here. So here, I'll just run away and then ult. Um, you're just okay. you're just too close. Like worst case scenario, my fight ults Katarina flash, you die. That's the worst yeah. case scenario, right? Um, zero things you can do to prevent that. So mm-hmm. you need to you need to prevent the worst case scenario from happening. Um, yeah. So you run here. This this was a good ult because look how much damage your ult does. Like, yeah. I think that was you, right? I yeah. Think that was your ult. Um, I, uh, maybe. 482 damage. Yeah. That's definitely you. Yeah. Look at this. This that's the value of your ultimate is this much damage yeah. on a backline carry. That that wins game. This this wins games. So yeah. Um, if you're training on maximum value, uh, holding onto your ult will help you a lot. Oh I, shit! I'm also standing on top of the dagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you once if I were you, once <laughs> I land this ult, I will let him go on Oriana or Blitz. Like. Let's yeah. say, let's say, or you and Ori sit here. This guy cannot kill anyone, and Bliss can just like literally punch him to death, right? Um, yeah. What can this guy do? Like nothing. Um, so yeah. if you don't just, uh, all you have to do is just stay alive, no matter what happens. Um, yeah. But uh, he goes for you anyways. You you should always like, I don't care what your team says in solo queue. You should play. You should play in such a way that you cannot die. If they ever flame you, just mute them. Yeah. They don't know what they're talking about. All right. Just play in a way that you will never die in a team fight, no matter what happens. Um, no matter what happens, play in such a way that you're never gonna die. Um, and it's not easy to do because everyone on their team has like abilities that can kill you, right? Malphite, Sona, uh, Katarina, Lucian damage, and Yi presses Q on you, um, right? Stuff like that. It's like, it's like not easy to do. But when you team fight, you have to watch out for all of those things. That's why this game is not easy. It's because you have yeah. so many things you have to worry about. Um, yeah. You have to play to the worst option. So yeah, worst case scenario. Um, do you do you think like uh, for a player that because I kind of sometimes get tilted, I guess mm-hmm. I don't particularly flame except if someone is is being like an, an asshole. But I get extremely mad at people for some reason, like fr- frustrated. Do you think there is a value in like mute all every single game? <laughs> so this is and what like, I do. Um, the like instant- to 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 ignore. Like, yeah, because I, I, on the what. On the one hand, I feel like you can miss like your jungler telling them I'm coming in two minutes, uh, but on the other hand, you you gain not being frustrated. I will always mute um, the instant someone says something. The instant someone says anything remotely that affects my mindset or does not help contribute to winning the game, like if it's not flash timers and they're saying stuff like, uh, "Yo, why didn't you gank mid?" I don't even care if he's talking to me or not. I'll just mute them immediately. Um, I think that your mentality is 
infinitely more important than anything they could say to help you like win. Like if they say okay. I'm coming to gank in two minutes, if they're flaming everyone, um, you just you just mute them. Who cares if they say they're gonna gank your okay. lane in two minutes? You don't need that information. You're like, like okay. screw that guy. Uh, your mentality is the most important thing because if you're tilted, you like can't play for the rest of the day until you until right. It's like okay. Um, it's like it's like, I don't know. It's like psychological. You just need to yeah. Uh, am I? In my opinion, I think you should just mute immediately. That's what I do. Um, like okay. reading this chat, I would have muted everyone on your team already. <laughs> no, no, the, the chat was kind of fine, right? I mean, I, just, I mean, no, I, it, I, I, yeah, it I didn't get any, anything Sorry, bad from it. I mean, it's EU and EA. You're, you're you're probably used to different things than we are used to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're if you're like yeah, if you're not affected by any of this, that's that's one hundred percent fine. Then you don't mute anyone, right? Um, yeah. But if you are, then. Uh, then you mute, right? So if you're not, if you're yeah. fine by all that, that's fine. But if you ever start, if you ever feel like you want to press enter and like say something back, you you should mute instead. Um, okay. Okay, let's talk about this team fight. So here, uh, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, that for example is is bad. Like if you Walking are not planning, there. yeah, if you're not planning to flash his Malphite ult, you should not be here, right? Um, or if yeah. you're not planning to flash his Sona flash ult, you should not be here, right? Always play okay. the worst case scenario. Um, the reasons why you see people do crazy stuff is because, um, like, flashing a Malphite ult is because they have it planned in their head. Nine times out of ten. Um, yeah. So when you when I see this E, I'm like, that E better have dodged something, otherwise you're going to die. Um, yeah. You just didn't get punished here. But um, you should always assume they're going to go for you with everything. This guy's just going to jump on you, right? Um, yeah, yeah, so th th that's what I was talking about. Walking forward, there is like, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always play, play to live. Play to live. Everything you do, every option you take, you should be alive at the end of it. Unless you're like winning the game. If like by dying, you somehow win the game, sure. Um, but everything you do, you should be, you should stay alive. Especially as an AD carry, an AP carry, um, anything like that. Uh, okay. Stay alive, no matter what happens. So I think okay. uh, it's good. Like the result was good, but. Um, I think you should have played a lot safer here. Like let let your team absorb these ultimates and whatever. Um, you don't have to. Okay. You don't have to immediately join the fight here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to, uh, like, I think the focus your your focus on your next games should be um, shouldn't really be Ezreal specific, but in general it should be like. Um, when you're, if you ever decide to chase, actually, no, I'll just tell you this. Just never chase. No matter what happens in your games, don't chase um, until okay. you stop dying to chasing. Um, because that's like a, it's like a big throw in League of Legends. It's like the old singed trick book, like, oh, chasing singed. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like a funny yeah. joke until everyone starts dying to that shit, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, I would suggest you, uh, like, write down in your sticky notes before you play, I am not going to chase no matter what happens. Like, that's number one. I'm never going to die to a chase. Um, and I think yeah. that'll fix a lot of your late game or mid game issues. Um, the second thing is I want you to think about every time you use an active ability, no matter what it is, I want you to say this is good value, right? When you use it. So if you're yeah. playing Vayne, uh, Condemn should always stun unless you're like pushing a diver away, right? That's good value. Um, for Ezreal, it's like super hard because Ezreal has a lot of active abilities, but um, every time you use a Q, it should hit. Every time you use an yeah. E, you should dodge something, kill someone, or escape with your life, right? Every time you use your ult, you should hit uh, backline carry yeah. or kill someone, right? Uh, that's yeah. what I want you to focus on. Never dying, no matter what happens, right? Assume the worst case scenario. No matter what happens, you don't die. Number two, especially don't chase, right? Especially don't chase. Like, it's like super hard. I, I always chased when I was like... When I, back when I was trying to improve, I was like stuck in diamond trying to get the masters. I was like, why am I losing? It's because I'm chasing every game. Um, and I okay. finally figured that out. So uh, I think for you, uh, like trying to focus on that will definitely help you out because there was a lot of times when I saw that maybe chasing was not the best option there. Um, yeah. So uh, those two things and high ability, uh, high high value on abilities, right? Okay. Uh, never die, have... never chase, high value abilities. Okay. I have two questions before we wrap this up because I assume you want to do other stuff as well. Mm -hmm. um, First of all, I, I feel very often that I don't have full control of my mouse, if that makes sense. Um, like, I, I feel that my mouse moves quicker sometimes or sometimes slower than I want it to. And I, I know maybe that's a bit weird thing, but do you have any 
like idea on what they could do to that, like lower DPI or whatever. Do you have mouse acceleration on by any chance? Uh, I should absolutely not. Yeah. But let me check that. Uh, that no. And maybe, no, there's no acceleration. Uh, uh, maybe like mouse DPI. I know I personally play on a low DPI. I think maybe it's like um, maybe play more if that makes any sense. I'm not sure. It's yeah, not really yeah, a problem. Get used to it. Yeah, it's yeah. not really a problem okay. I have anymore, so I can't really help you. But I know that some people played with mouse acceleration on. I'm like, yeah, turn that shit off. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, and then another question is... Um, if you look at my OPGG, I have a lot of trouble sticking to one champion. Like, I, I think I have five, except for Victor, my most played champion has eight games. Um, like, I, I swap champions all the time. <laughs> Wait, do you have your OPGG link? Uh, yeah, I can link it to you. Uh, on Skype? Yeah, that would be fine. Uh, wait. Wait. How do I me send a message on Skype? Press the uh, uh, upper right oh, yeah, hand corner. There's, I think there's a chat box. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Like this is the one, and this is the other. I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely recommend sticking to a few champions. Yeah. Um, there's that. I, I, I'm like a meta thing. Like if it's not meta, I feel like it's bad, <laughs> and I shouldn't play it. Honestly, I think, look, um, meta is good because it just means that it is easier to play and it has a higher reward for playing it. Like, for example, Varus was meta. Easy to play, you just spam Q. And high reward for playing it, the other team like yeah. can't do anything, right? Easy to yeah. play, high, high, high reward. But if you're good at other stuff um, and not good at meta, it is still worth to play. Like, look, you should play Victor because um, you have a high win percentage with Victor, right? Um, you yeah, know, no, Victor, I love Vic I love Victor, but I mean, I love mid um, bot lane more than mid. So, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Then uh, misfortune. Then, like, even though misfortune is not like really meta, like play misfortune, um, right? No, that, that that I, I spammed her. Then when it was like um, the lethality pa uh, patch uh, came out, I didn't think uh, of virus and Jin, but I thought, holy shit, who can use lethality? Fucking a meth with her ult. So then. I abused the fact that no one had ever played against the meth for See, a that's, year and a half. Yeah, that's good. You should. Yeah. I think you should play what works for you, in my opinion. Okay. Um, whether it be meta or not, uh, I think uh, those or meta champions are only like you know soft guidelines on what people think you should play. But if you if you are, win with other stuff, you should do that, right? Some people cannot play Ezreal, so they never play Ezreal. But Ezreal is still considered like meta, right? Uh, in competitive yeah. play. So the people who can play Ezreal do play Ezreal. Um, so do you I think, think I should stay away from Kog'Maw in solo queue? If you are good with Kog'Maw, I think you should play it, right? I, I personally yeah. play Kog'Maw because that's my kind of champion. But um, Yeah, but, I, but of course your, your, your skill set is, is quite a bit different than mine. So do you think someone that is in, in low diamond, uh, high plat is capable of playing Kog'Maw? Or do you really need the ability to, to, to move while attacking to, uh, to uh, play pro. I would have to like watch. It's like always debatable, right? Um, okay. On so champions, I should, like, sh yeah, sorry. I should send a replay basically, and if the next time, Apples give you a replay of Kogma, for example. I think it's uh it's only debatable because it's a, a harder it's a harder champion. Um, like Ezreal is debatable because not everyone can play Ezreal. Kogma is debatable because not everyone can play yeah. Kogma. But like Varus and Jin, this like you don't need mechanics to play those champions. So people are like yeah. always play that shit. Um, but if you, I think the biggest thing you should look at is, do you enjoy playing this champion and do you win with this champion? Um, because if you enjoy playing Kog'Maw and you win with Kog'Maw, uh, I don't care what rank you're at, you should play that shit. So, um, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I think. And what, what quick build, like, should I go, should I rush which end? Should I rush what? I've seen many different things in OPGG. So there are two main builds I think, uh, are really good. Uh, one is if they have all AP, they have an AP mid laner, uh, AP support, AP jungle, AP top, whatever. They have three or more AP people, uh, three or more magic damage dealers. I will go with Zen first, and then Rage Blade. Otherwise, I'll do Rage Blade into Runans. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, man. No problem. Do you have any other any other questions? We can go over like concepts or stuff if you mm. want. To if not. If not. Uh, I think I think you gave me quite a bit to think about and uh, apply on my next games. Uh, so 
uh, is it okay if I message you on Discord at some point for that, another session? That's one hundred percent okay. Uh, okay. I will always be on Discord. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, we're focus on uh, exactly what you want to work on before you're in game, and I think you would do just fine. So, yeah, yeah. My, my my plan now is to do that, not chase and like the the e thing for Ezreal is very specific, but I I understand what you mean, like use abilities relative to their value at the time. Perfect. 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 All right. Yeah. Let me know how it goes. Uh, yeah, I will. I have high hopes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play a few games and uh, uh, maybe next week or something. Sounds good. Good luck, man. Yeah. yeah, good luck streaming, man. Have a good one. Bye-bye.